Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwann, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the pleasure of meeting with David Thompson, who is the founder and CEO of Genius.com. Welcome, David. It's great to be back, Gerhard. What's new with Genius? Wow, Genius has just been on a roll. So we started out, uh, you know, four years ago or so, uh, doing this whole Sales 2.0 thing, as you know. Uh, bringing email marketing and web analytics to a broad audience, to the, the sales people, the sales reps and managers who'd never had it before. And lo and behold, they're all telling us, bring the marketers in too. So uh, I just saw that reflected in the Sales 2.0 conference that we just did here in San Francisco, where half the hands that went up on the first day were from sales and half were from marketing. So we've just been expanding the business into marketing automation, but that's done all at the behest of and at the service of sales. So uh, it's, it's fun to see the, uh, the whole gang and community of Sales 2.0 growing to uh, incorporate marketing too. So what I sense here is that uh, your solution has really brought sales and marketing together in, onto one platform and to share a conversation that all rallies around profitability and getting better results. Bingo. It's all about doing more with less. And that's what's been so exciting about working with you and the whole community on Sales 2.0 because it started out as kind of this boom era thing where we were all excited about just growing revenues and then the recession comes along and all of a sudden Sales 2.0 is even bigger because guess what? Sales and marketing have to come together. They have no choice. They're both losing their budgets like crazy and they both have to do more with less. Right. And so that's really great for Genius because our marketing automation stuff was born in the lap of sales and is now growing and growing with the help of marketing. So we're really excited about that. So you really started Sales 2.0, the first conference, and uh, you've seen it accelerate over the last three years. We took it over mm -hmm. a year and a half. And <clears throat> uh, how do you see it playing out next year and the year after? Well, so I think there's two big kind of mega trends that are driving it right now. So first and foremost is just the downward pressure on, on costs and the absolute imperative that sales and marketing both have to produce more revenue with lower budgets. And then the other upside in all this is the opportunity with social media. Um, so, so we started out looking at uh, things like LinkedIn and Jigsaw and uh, a bunch of other of the early social market, uh, social networks uh, that we were looking at in the early days of Sales 2.0, and now it's just exploded. You know, you've got marketers everywhere. It doesn't matter if they're B2B or uh, consumer marketers. They're all using Facebook. They're all using Twitter, and everyone's running around like a chicken with their head cut off trying to figure out, what does that mean for me? Right, right. And, and that's uh, really exciting for us as a business, but it's even more exciting for our customers because they have that way to extend their reach, broaden their reach, widen the funnel, drive more people to their websites, get more customers at much lower cost. So it's kind of the perfect storm. Plus, since you started, uh, we have seen about 800 different uh, Sales 2.0 applications come on the market. So the level of uh, transparency has been decreased. The level of complexity has gone up. And people are really um, f almost frazzled at a conference mm -hmm. like that because they've tried to find out, what am I missing? Right. Well, that's why the conference is even more critical because there are so many solutions. and. The sales and marketing funnel is so complex, and, and really, Gerhardt, what we have to do is we have to rename this Buying 2.0 somehow, because mm -hmm. remember the original vision was it's, it's just like Amazon. Right. On Amazon, there is no difference between sales and marketing. Right. It's a buying process. But that's consumer, and they have achieved the enviable mm -hmm. state where they don't have to depend on salespeople. Right. There's no salesperson that you can call on an 800 number, right. and yet they do $19 billion worth of business. Yeah, but that's but see, that's where you're, the thing I love that you say every show to salespeople and to marketing people is ditch the pitch. Right. Because it's not about forcing something down your customer's throat. It's about helping them buy from you. Is sales and marketing alignment still a big issue? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Mm -hmm. There's been finger pointing for centuries between mm -hmm. sales and marketing, and they're talking past each other because they don't have a common set of agreed upon metrics right. and agreed upon rules and right. data that they can consult. We have something really new and exciting, uh, which is that we want to bring sales and marketing managers together into one sales and marketing 2.0 conference in San Francisco <coughs> on November 8th and 9th. Um, what's your take on that? 
I am ecstatic about that because Why? It, it's it's exactly this point that in today's economy with the challenges that sales is facing, if marketing's not at the table, you're never going to succeed. It's that simple. Marketing has to be at the table in the sales 2.0 funnel or the funnel's not going to flow and the leads aren't going to be there and the opportunity to extend your reach out into the cloud and out into the social media sphere is just, is just not going to happen because sales doesn't have time to do that. But how many people are following you on Twitter today? Oh my gosh, I've got hundreds. I, I can't even keep up. <laughs> <laughs> but fortunately, I have help. And, and the, one of the, the most interesting things is how social media just ties into everything else. It ties into search. Sure. sure. It is the way that companies brand today. Right. You know, we've always talked about how branding is a conversation and branding is about trust and branding is about a relationship. And the conversation economy is driven by social networking. A hundred percent. If anyone knows that it's about the conversation, it's the sales guy. And the marketing people are actually kind of slow to the table to realize we got to be engaged in a conversation too. And we have to figure out how to track that. And that's why we're so excited about the automation stuff we're doing is help track all those conversations and figure out which are the productive ones mm -hmm. and which are producing the deals. And that's what we've been focusing on at Genius. Yes, yeah, it's a conversation ministroni economy. Mm-hmm. Love that ministroni. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> Great to see you, Gerhard.